So hello and welcome again, uh, Microbe Hunter here, Oliver here. Today I would like uh, to show you these two microscope slides and some of you might uh, consider them to be a little bit controversial. However, they are my favorite microscope slides. I already made a video um, showcasing these slides several months ago and I have to tell you I did not get many views and some people even unsubscribed from the channel. So I hope that you're not going to do that. Um, yeah, and uh, I think I do understand why some people consider them a little bit problematic because uh, this one over here for example I don't know if you're able to read this it says the tail of a monkey um, yeah so this is the cross section of the tail of a monkey here uh, the slides are antique slides so they're approximately over 100 years old um, I bought them um, yeah online um, and uh, they were even quite uh, quite expensive um, these are high quality slides and uh, yeah as uh, we're going to have a quick look at them under the microscope in just a second or so um, however if you want to look um, at the full video that I made uh, before then of course there's a link uh, in, in the description below so the tail of a monkey yeah might not be considered to be a very yeah how shall I say nice specimen uh, but the next one is is uh, I would say probably even a little bit more controversial um, also an antique slide uh, also quite uh, quite old also not cheap um, yeah it says look a section in the finger of a fetus of a four months old fetus so what you see over here is yeah it's the finger of a baby um, also interesting uh, under the microscope not quite as interesting as the tail of a monkey um, but you're able to see um, yeah, all relevant uh, yeah, parts um, under the microscope now um, I'm not going to go into very much detail when I um, uh, put them under the microscope uh, I would like to refer you to one of my previous videos that I made but we're going to look at it um, in any case so I'm going to now switch over to the microscope view so okay so this here is at uh, low magnification using the four times objective here that's the fingernail might have to focus a little bit here so that we see it, see it better yeah um, then over here yeah, these are uh, most likely tendons uh, yeah um, or muscle fibers as well and uh, yeah you can see it's uh, been stained um, yeah and uh, what we see over here also is that it basically it stops all of a sudden this is kind of strange shouldn't the finger basically go on well the reason is is because uh, this is uh, of course a very thin cross section it has been cut uh, um, diagonally right um, and uh, when we zoom in a little bit more then we can of course also look a little bit more at the different uh, yeah, layers uh, layers of the skin and we oh, it's very dark now yeah um, and uh, yeah some of the structures are yeah, not quite as easily visible uh, but in any case uh, I'm a little bit uh, happy that uh, the specimen still was able to withstand such a long time yeah um, I'm very glad that I actually got this specimen so what you see over here for example I need to switch on the arrow you can actually see some of the glands uh, that uh, yeah, here are just beneath the skin and there's some ducts probably some sweat glands or oil glands um, and uh, basically this here is, is the skin yeah as I said before um, I already made a separate video um, um, about this and uh, yeah even though it's not a very nice uh, thought um, this type of slide here considering that it's uh, we're looking at a, at a human being here a human being which lived uh, yeah, over 100 years ago um, yeah still I consider it uh, from a biological and from a scientific perspective uh, quite uh, quite fascinating so I'm now going to uh, show you the, now the, the tail of a monkey as well and uh, it's a little bit more to see so we are also starting off um, at uh, the low magnification here and uh, what I really like here is that we're able to see all sorts of different uh, tissue types um, so for example here in the center you see the bone yeah um, of uh, um, of the tail here that's the bone your bone marrow in the center and of course uh, left and right muscles here muscles here at the top and at the bottom as well so that the tail of the monkey can be moved into all possible directions we're also able to see some blood vessels over here yeah that's here is, a, is an artery for example and here uh, those things here on the side these are the hair follicles for the fur uh, because of course the monkey is yeah, being a mammal um, has a lot of fur and these are basically the hair follicles here yeah again I made a more detailed video um, and there is a link uh, below yeah but I did receive uh, of course uh, not unusual some emails as well from people who are a little bit concerned uh, about uh, those microscope slides especially if you're looking at human samples because they wanted to know well did the people who basically uh, whose slides uh, I have did they actually give their consent um, and uh, I think uh, 
course, difficult to, to trace back uh, because uh, we don't know how the slides were manufactured. Um, but I would say this should not be a problem because uh, serious uh, slide manufacturing companies who are preparing those slides for medical training, um, of course, uh, will take care that everything uh, in this relation is, is also in, in, in proper order. Um, so no no concerns about uh, no concerns about that. Yeah, in any case, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and uh, I just wanted to quickly showcase uh, to you those two slides. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, that you also like them as much as I do. Um, and do check out the full video. I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting as always. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.